Many people are uncomfortable thinking about people with disabilities having sex. How does that affect your work? Well, I think that that really is the reason for my work. Because the underlying issue is that there is a lot of discomfort about disabled people's sexuality. And we need to deal with that issue. We need to start recognizing the fact that people with disabilities are sexual beings, just like anyone else, and that they deserve good, loving relationships just like anyone else does, and that somebody's disability doesn't change that. Um, and historically, the disability rights movement has been much more forthcoming with its advocacy on issues of employment and transportation, and sexuality has really been a taboo subject. And that's ref ju that just reflects the cultural norms. Generally, most societies are not that willing to talk about sexuality, or it takes a while for issues related to sexuality to come to the forefront. Um, but it does mean that there are a lot more vulnerabilities then to groups of people whose sexuality is not discussed or um, whether whether that's vulnerability because of overprotection and the lack of access to information or because um, well there's just there's a whole there's a whole range of issues that come up um, but I think that HIV has helped you know we wouldn't have wished it but HIV has forced disabled people's organizations and disability rights advocates to look at issues of sexuality because you can't talk about HIV without talking about sex. And in Sub-Saharan Africa, disabled people's organizations were losing so many people to HIV and then, you know, they had to face the issues. And I think that um, if, if anything good can come out of it, then it did mean that we needed to face that as a movement. Um, and we are seeing a lot more discussion about that now. There's lots more that needs to still happen, but um, th there has been a lot of progress in that area.